Oui. inject it with an epoxy. In this case we're going to port the low end here and you always want to uh, with a small have a port for uh, a vent hole. Vent hole here. Here. Now the reason that uh, we kind of covered it all, we now take uh, drywall fiber tape and we can put it over all of the spalled areas like so. Because when we inject this, we want to fill the space. We don't want our paste simply filling in the hole. Sometimes and once you get to this stage here, you might have to let it sit a little bit to set up and cure. So it's a little harder. And of course your the idea is, is if you happen to be injecting with epoxy, all of that voided area would be filled with epoxy, would now would solidify and would be as if the wall was never had a spall in. repair we would inject it with an epoxy so whenever you're doing a spall I always put a few extra ports to allow for air venting so in this case here we're going to inject a little bit of water first because we're doing polyurethane if it was epoxy we wouldn't bother so we'll just put it in the bottom on here this particular spall was a leaker okay proceed to in inject it with polyurethane in and we're just gonna pump it till we see it come yeah. there's, there's more product oh now we're bleeding are we yeah shit well leave it there for a second leave it on there for a second you can change it too let's take a little bit left though I know. keep it on because then we'll say we'll change it that, that way uh, we'll say uh when it comes out the first one the first one we'll plug it So just when we start it, Sean, uh, unpick that porthole of the little swatch yeah, yeah. here.